What is the sound of one hand clapping? This ancient riddle, simple in its construction but profound in its implications, serves as a perfect gateway into the mysterious world of Zen koans. It invites us into a space where logic meets the illogical, where the search for answers opens up deeper layers of understanding. So as we delve into the labyrinth of Zen koans, navigating their depths and uncovering their secrets, I warmly welcome you. Together, we'll explore the silent whispers and thunderous silences of these enigmatic teachings, seeking not just to understand, but to experience the profound wisdom they embody. Zen cones, by their very nature, are designed to puzzle, to challenge, and to ultimately bring about a shift in perception. These cryptic statements or questions, such as the sound of one hand clapping, are not meant for logical dissection, but are tools for enlightenment, pushing the mind beyond its conventional boundaries. In the tradition of Zen Buddhism, koans serve as the keys to unlocking a deeper, more intuitive state of awareness, where the dualities of right and wrong, logical and illogical, cease to dominate. Tracing the origins of Zen koans leads us back to the mist-covered mountains of China, to the very heart of Zen Buddhism's emergence. It was here, in the echoes of the monastic halls, that the practice of koan study began, later flourishing in Japan. Figures like Bodhidharma, who is traditionally credited with bringing Zen to China, and Hakui Nakaku, a Japanese Zen master who revitalized koan practice, are pivotal in our story. They and many others have contributed to the rich tapestry of Zen koan tradition, each koan a thread woven into the vast, intricate robe of Zen teachings. At the core of a Zen koan lies its structure, often comprising a main case or question, a commentary, and a verse. This structure supports the koan's purpose, offering a framework for contemplation. For instance, when pondering the question of the one hand's sound, the seeker is encouraged not just to think about the answer, but to immerse themselves in the experience of questioning, to feel the question's weight and texture. Among the pantheon of Zen koans, some stand out for their notoriety and the depth of insight they offer. Does a dog have Buddha nature? And Mu, signifying no thing or emptiness, challenge our preconceived notions of self, nature, and the universe. Each koan, like a jewel, reflects a multitude of truths, each facet inviting a deeper exploration and understanding. In the practice of Zen, koans are more than just philosophical puzzles. They are integral to the meditative process. The student meditates upon the koan, allowing it to permeate their consciousness, often leading to moments of sudden clarity or satori, an intuitive leap into enlightenment. This practice, deeply personal and often guided by a master, underscores the dynamic relationship between teacher and student in Zen Buddhism. Understanding a koan transcends intellectual comprehension, venturing into the realm of intuition. Koans bypass the rational mind to speak directly to the heart, beckoning the seeker to experience reality directly, unfiltered by concepts and judgments. This intuitive understanding is not easily conveyed but deeply felt, a direct transmission of wisdom from the koan to the seeker's innermost being. Yet the path of koan study is strewn with challenges and misconceptions. It is easy to fall into the trap of intellectualizing the koan or seeking a clever answer. However, the essence of koan practice lies in its ability to dissolve the barriers of the mind, to lead the practitioner to a place beyond words and thoughts, where true understanding can bloom. In our modern, fast-paced world, the lessons of Zen koans remain remarkably relevant. They teach us mindfulness, the art of presence, and the importance of looking beyond the surface. Contemplating a koan can open up new ways of seeing, helping us navigate the complexities of life with a calmer, more centered perspective. 
The journey through Zen koans is deeply personal. And while the insights gained are unique to each individual, the wisdom of these ancient teachings is universal. Stories and testimonials from those who have walked this path highlight the transformative potential of koan study, offering inspiration and encouragement to others on their spiritual journey. Incorporating the wisdom of koans into daily life is both a challenge and an opportunity. It invites us to pause, to question, and to listen deeply, whether we're facing the mundane tasks of daily life or the profound questions of existence. The practice of reflecting on koans can bring a sense of clarity, equanimity, and openness to our everyday experiences. For those drawn to explore further, the world of Zen koans is rich with resources. From ancient texts to modern commentaries, from online forums to meditation retreats, the ways to engage with koan study are as varied as the koans themselves. These resources offer a gateway to deeper understanding and practice, inviting seekers to continue their exploration of this profound spiritual path. As we near the end of our journey together, I invite you to reflect on the koans we've explored and the insights they offer. What does the sound of one hand clapping mean to you? How can the wisdom of Zen koans illuminate your path? The labyrinth of enlightenment is vast and intricate, but each step taken with mindfulness and openness brings us closer to understanding. Thank you sincerely for joining me in this exploration of Zen koans. May the questions they pose and the insights they offer be companions on your journey, guiding you toward deeper understanding and inner peace. Until we meet again, may your path be filled with light and wisdom.